how to make a portfolio website using WordPress. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own WordPress website for your portfolio. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go on to WordPress.com. So this is not WordPress.org. This is WordPress.com and you're going to get started with WordPress.com. Now, WordPress.com basically enables you to use WordPress.org on their platform. And we're going to get started with our portfolio website now I have created an account on WordPress initially so you just have to sign up via your email address that's all you have to do and you're gonna click on add new site and then you're gonna add the domain name for your website so let's say I want to make this portfolio for my art collection so I want to add art by Jane and I'm just going to search for that. And now WordPress is going to give me some recommended portfolio names or domain names that I can pick from. Or if I scroll down, I have more options. And I also have the free domain name provided by WordPress. So we're going to select this free domain name and we're going to continue. And we're going to click on start for free. And we're going to start building our WordPress portfolio website. So to get started now, I'm going to choose start building because we just want to start with our website and we just want to start building. We don't want to write blogs or sell items. So we're going to click on start building and now you can choose one of these themes to get started with. So if you take a look on your left, you have different categories and you can just click on portfolio over here and you have different portfolios that you can choose from to set up your portfolio website. So let's say I continue with this kind of template. So I'm going to click on start with Calvin. And you can choose any template that you want, or you can even start from scratch. The reason that I recommend using a template to begin creating your website is because if you're using a template, it enables you to create the same kind of creation in far less amount of time. So unless you are very well equipped with your knowledge on WordPress website building, it's going to be very difficult for you to start and, you know, set up the initial steps of your website and using a template can really simplify this. So now we have our template loaded over here. Now on your left, you have this plus icon, which if you click it, it will open up this menu where you have different blogs, passions, media, and anything you want to add to the website, you can find over here. And on your right, you have your settings, like your basic styles, your settings, the headers, the templates, and the visual editor, code editor, plugin, styles, and so much more. So to get started, what you're going to do is you have this basic page. And what I want to do is I want to make a one-page website, so a one-page portfolio for my website. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my site title, which is going to be Art by Jane. And then you can just unclick this and click on the next section and you can start adding your text over here portfolio i'm going to add that and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, delete this image section over here because i don't want to add any images with my title or any logos so you're just going to select the section and you are going to click on delete on your keyboard and it will remove that section now you have this navigation panel over here i'm just going to delete that as well because i don't want to have navigation I just want to have a one page website. Now, once I have added this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this section. And instead of this, I'm going to add my iconic or notable work. And I'm going to remove these images over here. And I'm going to remove this text block. I'm going to remove the button as well. So just selecting this section. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add. I'm going to scroll down and take a look at text. And I'm just going to add heading. I'm just going to copy this kind of section. So I'm going to do control C and then control V. Notable work like so. And I'm going to take a look at the text. And I'm going to open up this drop down menu. And I'm going to change the heading style. So I want to make sure it's interesting. I'm going to go with H4 and I'm going to align text center or text left and I'm going to make it bold. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add over here and I'm going to scroll down and click on image. And once I click on image, I'm going to click on upload. So you can upload your own images from your work or you can click on select image and then you can add pixels free photos. I'm going to search for art over here. And after I have searched for art, I'm just using one of these uh, images from Google. You're going to upload your own artwork. Of course, that is going to be what you're going to do. But I'm going to use free royalty free images to add to my website just to show you guys as an example of what your website is going to look like. 
like so. Now, once I have added this, I'm going to remove any previous section. And what I can do is I can resize these as well. So you can resize this section like so. So it's currently going to look like this. And what I can do is instead of having the text uh, placed above my section, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove it from here and I'm going to add more images. So you can add slideshows, you can add galleries, you can add columns. So I can add columns over here. And what I'm going to do is take a look at the groups and I'm going to click on like so, resize my image to a decent size. And now I think I want to add a bottom a layer of work. So now I want to add a paragraph. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about my work. So this was my first art piece, whatever you want to call it. You're going to add your information or, you know, the description of your art. And you can place that right below your art. And once you have done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on once more and I'm going to scroll down and you can add buttons, you can add columns, groups. And let's say I want to add um, a column. And with my column, I am going to skip the variation. And I have these two image sections. So in this, I want to add two different images. So I have the split column. Or let's say I want to add one image and one on the other side, I want to write the description. So I'm going to click on upload or I'm going to click on select images, use the pixels free photos. And I'm going to search for art once more. And I'm going to use this image. And on the other side, I'm going to add the title and the description of this art. So I'm going to add the title first. This is going to be abstract art is real art. And now I'm going to add a description. So this piece illustrates the nature of art and how it is more in the eye of the holder. So on and so forth, you're going to add your sections and your columns to illustrate the rest of your work for your portfolio. So uh, once you do that, you're just going to click on save. You're going to click on save over here. And now our website has been updated. You're going to get this notification on your bottom right and you can click back on WordPress. You can click on dashboard and you can go back to your dashboard and take a look at your website. So if I click on wizard site, this is what my website is currently looking like. And I can add more information uh, about my portfolio and my work as I go on. So that is how simple and easy it is to build your portfolio using WordPress. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.